Hello YouTube. So today I'll be doing a little bit of a lengthy video. This is to help out those of you that are having issues with your Windows 10 New Vision tablets. Um, so right now what I have um, experienced is with my tablets is I had to send one back to get repaired. Hopefully it gets repaired. And then uh, this one right here actually, uh, it actually messed up because I was doing an update, something went wrong with the power. At a power surge so uh it just wrecked the whole thing with these steps i was able to get it fixed but it just took a lot of work and time and also you need certain things so to start off you will need a usb hub of this sort one that has multiple usb ports uh, this is just one that i had a lot from a long time ago because i wanted to power this tablet but it, i mean in the end it did come in handy so that's good. Uh, this one that it comes with, it will not work because you need, I, I maybe it might work, but I think you need, it, it, it would be better to have um, a USB port so you could uh, connect, a oh no, and you, knew, you do need multiple USB ports. You need multiple USB ports because you will be connecting a keyboard at minimum. I have a, uh, with this receiver, I have a keyboard and mouse combo. So with that one receiver, and so as you can see, this is what I have kind of set up here. Just keyboard and mouse. So it works, as you can see. Uh, let's do Windows. Oh, let's do, there you go. So both work, and you will also need a USB stick. I, I believe this is uh, 16 gigabytes. Yes. Let's see if I can get that focused yeah 16 gigabytes so you will have to go ahead and go to new vision support so i just google new vision support and it comes up and you have to look for your specific model right here so as you can see these are the model numbers and these are for android tablets then they have windows tablets which that's where we're going and you look for your specific model if you don't know your model it should be in the box if you don't have the box you go here, right over there. See that? It'll tell you the model. There it goes, focusing that slightly. That's the model. And so once you get the model information, you click, you click these. I'm not gonna download it here because it would just take too long. So because if you're doing software, if you're doing the whole software, that's a whole Windows software. And that's about like six or seven gigabytes. And then you have drivers, which is still about like at least like 500 megabytes or maybe a gigabyte around those lines. So uh, you download those things. And then what you're going to do is I'm going to pause right now and I'm going to get my other computer. But everything that you, you could still do it all on this one little device. I'm just going to do it on the other one because it's a lot faster and quicker um, but you will need to be a hundred percent battery on this little tablet and you'll need to connect your USB stick to the hub so bear with me I'll be right back all right and we're back so uh, again you have to Google new vision support because sometimes it will not show up um, it will say that the page is missing or something and I don't know what's going on there but so Google new video support, it should come up. It should be like the first link there. Uh, download your uh, setup. So um, it'd be something like one of these, like right here. This one's downloaded. I mean, these are all deleted, but um, you get the idea. Just download those. So once you're done downloading, I download them straight to my desktop. So it will look like something like right here. And this right there. That's what you'd be looking at. And... Um, so I don't have anything to extract them. Normally, you might or you might not. If you don't, uh, look up um, 7-Zip. That's what I looked up. And so I went to this website. I used like the first link there, I believe. And this allows you to extract all the, all the files from what they have in their download center. I didn't know this, so it took me some time. But once I got it, I set that up and so I downloaded it 
and opened it up and you go to this right here right and let's see mm, uh, hold on let me pause real quick because see there's a lack of focus okay so i got to to focus a little bit so once you're here um you look through uh, again it's set up for my desktop so you look through you click your file whichever one it is and then you go to extract and then once you extract you set it up where you want it to go again i had it uh, set up so i could go to my desktop so it'll extract everything right there and i already did that so you'll be looking at something like this sorry about the lack of focus you'll be looking at something like this and let's open up something like that so then you have drivers right here and installer so once you have those set up you'll have to get your USB stick so with your USB stick you're going to so right here you can see these are all the drivers um, but let me look for one that has the software oh, there you go that one this one should have the software. so this is the software so one of them is for drivers the other one's for software software is for like in my case, I needed to completely wipe the tablet and set it up back to like how it used to be. And drivers is just to update certain things that you might need, uh, such as in my case, Bluetooth for the other tablet, which still didn't fix it. Um, again, so now once you're done with that, you go to, I have the USB stick already connected. You go here, you pretty much drag and drop right there. Once you drag and drop, you have this. So I just have the drivers in here right now because I was trying to fix that with the old tablet. And once that's done, you're good to go. So all of this does take some time. You'll have to, I believe, uh, it's going to be a couple of, it might be hours. I want to say it's hours. So once you set that up, here, let me disconnect that. So once, you, once you're done with that, so this portion is probably slightly hard, but I mean, it's not too bad. Once, once you know that you have to just extract the files from there, put in your USB drive, it shouldn't be too bad. So now I am going to, again, pause and set up for the tablet so you can see how it looks. So I will be right back. All right, and I'm back. So this portion is for people who are just trying to update their drivers. So I have connected my USB stick already. And for this portion, you don't need all the setup. You pretty much just need the USB hub and um, I mean the, the USB OTG cable that it comes with. And you, you could, for drivers, you don't need too much. And then of course the USB stick. So that's what you would need. You would go here, uh, look up device manager. So once you set that up, it comes up, it pops up. So I have one already open. And you'd go through, like in my other tablet's case, I'd go to Bluetooth. I'd right click and update driver. Then from here, you could search automatically through the internet. But in the case, in, in this situation, you probably wouldn't be able to find anything there. So you'd go to browse the computer, you click browse. And since I already have my USB stick there, I selected the USB stick. You could go down to like the specific driver itself. So you have all these options. And so, I don't know, let's say, let's say this one. So I'd pop out this one and I tell it, check this folder specifically and whatever it has inside. I click OK and then it goes to next and it searches and it'll say something like successful. It's been complete or nothing found. In my case, it's anything found because these drivers are for the other tablet. So that's the portion for the drivers. Um, right now, I'm going to set up the portion for the whole uh, software, um, I guess, reinstallment. So I'll get that ready and I'll be right back. All right. So now I've set it up so I could reinstall the OS that New Vision gives you in the website. And of course, you want this to be all connected already. So as you can see, the tablet is connected to the OTG cable. And again, the, you need one that has multiple USB hubs. 
because and this is actually a 2.0 so it's not too bad i mean you know if you, if you that's okay that's my point and so uh i have both the uh usb stick connected and the keyboard mouse receiver the mouse won't be important here at this point but the keyboard is very important because what you need to do is you're going to start the, the as soon as you see the new vision logo pop up you have to press f7 so i'm going to try to do it at the same time uh new vision the tablet it's only takes a while to boot up so let's see if it works on the first go all right not turning on just give it a, i'll try again not turning on all right one more time usually a third time there we go i now press f7 there we go so i was pressing f7 and then you will see this menu right here so you're gonna need the keyboard to navigate and you go down through here and you see sandisk usb partition so um it was, I, I believe it'll say something else. It might say something like that. Uh, but that's the one you're going to boot from. So you press enter. And then it's pretty much going to do everything itself. You follow the prompts. You say yes or no, whatever you need to do. Um, but again, it's mostly automated. So you don't have to. Uh, I'm going to press escape because I don't need to do that. But that's pretty much at the point that you will be having to set everything up. Um, for the Windows tablet. Um, I want to say that, again, you need this to be all connected. You need the keyboard and you need the USB stick. If you don't have those set up, then it's not going to work. It's not going to work with, um, I mean, I guess maybe you could try using the OTG cable that it comes with, but I don't think it's, it's going to work because you need both of them to be connected and they do specify in, in like uh, the instructions that they sent um, the other um, uh, YouTube commenter. They do specify that you need to uh, have that actually set up. So um, other than that, I don't, I don't see uh, what else you would be able to do in those cases with, uh, without the USB hub. So you need a USB hub. So you need that. Um, and I think that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, I'll try to help as much as possible. Um, hopefully this has been helpful for those New Vision customers that are having issues when it comes to Windows 10 tablets. Uh, like, don't like, um, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.